Well, hello everybody and welcome to Crash the Stash. It is our last Crash the Stash in this art journal. And it is thick and chunky and good. And I am going to complete the last page and the backs and the covers today. So hang on to your hats. We got a lot of ground to cover today. So on my very last page, I always try to create a space where I can write about my experience, my journey, my time here in my journal for um, however long it's been. And it just so happens that it's almost one year to the day when I started. Can you believe it? One year we've been working in this journal, um, crashing our stash and finding our bits and pieces and creating beautiful things. So this last page, I'm just um, using up my stash again and I've used some background papers and then I used this ledger paper that I dyed with the acrylic ink and that is in a video and I'll have that linked if you want to see that it, that's a fun video um, but I'm putting this down and I want it to be rough and not neat and tidy and or anything like that so that I can journal in it um, and get my thoughts down as to all of the things that happened throughout the year with the each journal page and I'll come back to that in just a minute. So the back cover, I'm gessoing, giving a good coat of gesso because there's, a, I want it to be nice and strong and ready to accept just the fun play of paint that I'm going to do here. And I'm kind of playing off of the colors and uh, of the papers that are in the page next to it that I'll journal on. And I just want some messy areas, just lots of fun and finger painting so that I can do some stenciling and mark making. And I always, at the very end of my journals, put a, a saying that has meant something to me um, or that kind of comprises my journal experience. And so um, that's what I'm setting up this page for. So once I get all my fun finger painting done, I'm just trying to um, fill in the space because I've got a piece of paper that's gonna go down that wall hold my saying. So I'm just filling up the space here. So now I'm going to do some stenciling on top of that and I'm using, um, this is the Geo Leaf stencil and I'm using the same colors but I'm going over the bright colors with dark and the dark colors with bright so that you get a contrast and um, it shows off your designs. That's the Doodle Square Stencil. This is Doodle Minis. And I have the Doodle Circles as well. So now that I've got everything the way that I want it with all of my designs, I'm putting my paper down and this is a map, a vintage map, and it signifies to me the journey that I've been on over the last year with each um, journal page. And I'm letting that dry and as I let that dry, I'm now going to darken my edges, which is, you know, my, my thing. And I'm using a pastel stick for, for this page and decide to, uh, and I always use a pastel stick and it's a chalk soft pastel to usually darken my edges. Now I get my charcoal pencil. Um, and it, the charcoal pencil is just a softer line um, of shading and it has more definition. So I'm stamping my dates from, we started July 20th 2017 and it will finish up July 19th 2018 it's that's I can't believe it was almost exactly a year and now I'm putting down my saying with my um, old-school text
and I'm adding now just some further embellishments to kind of bring that black around throughout. Um, this is the Flower Gang 5 stencil. And now I want to just shade my saying, life is a painting and I hold the brush. So let's paint a beautiful one, right? A beautiful painting of our life. And I'm just additionally highlighting the letters with a gel pen. I find the gel pens work the best on just about every surface. However, they are water soluble, but we will fix it with a fixative. And now I'm just adding some mark making circles and lines and different things like that to further highlight. White always kind of brings things out and black kind of pushes things back. But white and black are always a neutralizer or a balancer. So it balances out um, all of the colors and everything that's happening in, the, in this page. So now we're moving on to the back. We're gonna finish this baby up today. I've got two pieces of vintage wallpaper and I already have an idea of what my theme for the cover will be. So this back cover is just continuing that theme. And so I'm just putting down my vintage uh, wallpaper and I put down all of my paper today with Liquitex matte medium, fluid matte medium. You can use gel. Um, for me, fluid matte medium dries really, really fast and I work fast. So I, that's why I like it. So this is a vintage butterfly. It's from the collage. Both the wallpaper and this are available in collage packs on the website. Um, and I'll have those linked in the supplies. And just doing some shading and I'm not adding a ton of, of elements or things to the back because it's it's the back um, and so I just want to keep it simple and keep it um, true to kind of my theme and my title for this journal just shading with my charcoal pencil And I love sketching with my charcoal pencil because I can smush it a little bit and it just looks kind of dingy and grungy and kind of faded. And of course, I love that. I'm using a Signo ball pen. It works, again, really well. It's not water soluble, um, but I felt like it need I needed a little bit more defined black line to kind of keep the page a little finished. I'm not exactly sure, it just felt right. Of course the butterflies have to have some shading. Shading just adds the depth to me so that things don't look flat. So they look like they pop off the page. Now I'm using my fine liner, which I love and I use often. And um, I'm just adding some dots to bring some brightness and visually focalize, on, you know, make that kind of a focal point, those butterflies with some white dots. And my fine liner has fluid acrylic, water and airbrush medium in it. <clears throat> so here's where we fix it. I'm using Spectrafix. You can use um, Krylon Fixative. Spectrafix is great when you're working indoors. And once I fix it, I'll go back over and seal it again with matte medium. So now the cover. <clears throat> 
So I'm just giving the cover a good coat of gesso. Actually, a kind of good coat of gesso <laughs> because I know what I'm going to be doing on top of it. So I just wanted to kind of push back some of that text and stuff that was on there. And now I'm putting down my vintage ledger paper, which is also a collage pack. Um, putting that down with fluid matte medium. <clears throat> this vintage frame is available. I think it's still free in the subscriber resource library. Or it's free somewhere on the website. <laughs> I'll have a link to it. Now I've got a metal element that I want to put down there. And so I added a little bit more, instead of just the fluid matte medium, I used regular gel matte, matte gel um, by Golden because it's heavier, thicker, and it will hold that baby down. Put my vintage butterfly on top of there and let it dry. And that, that gel mat will really hold that, that everything down once it's dry. So now I'm just taking my gesso and um, skimming over <clears throat> the, that page, kind of blocking out some of that writing and different things. But my, my goal is to give it all kinds of texture because we're gonna come back over with a, a glaze and get some grungy goodness going on. So now I'm taking some of that matte gel that's a little bit heavier and I'm putting some high flow acrylic in, um, color is sepia and I'm going to mix that around and go back over um, the gesso. And part of the reason I'm using that heavy gel is because it's going to seal those edges really well um, for handling and, and different things like that. So it's going to seal it but plus it gives me color. And I'm going back and wiping it off. I'm using it like a glaze. And so now I'm going to just add some raw umber and some glazing medium to this mix and go back over that and get some more depth and some more yummy goodness. And all of those edges and highlights that the palette knife and the gesso created are catching all of that color that umber and the sepia, it's so good. So now that it's dry, I'm gonna go in and um, add some shading and really give that frame some depth so it looks like it's not a flat piece of paper. And of course, it's got to have some shading around the edge I'm using my pastel, soft pastel stick. And again, I will spray this with a fixative um, once I've got everything down. And I'm using here to put the words down, the same mixture of gel, matte, and sepia. And the words are use your wings, which is the, the theme and the process for this book, is expanding and growing and challenging yourself. So I spray it with a fixative and I will seal it again with matte medium. Now I want to put a closure on this and I am going to punch a hole but it, it was so thick that it took me a few minutes to get it. And I didn't punch the hole right in the middle because I knew I wanted the ribbon to go around low um, so it didn't hide the butterfly. And I just punched a hole, grabbed some sari ribbon that I had and then found some embellishments that meant something to me. I've got a key and this old brooch that actually was in my mother's jewelry box. 
and I tied it on there and I actually ended up cutting that ribbon down and making it a little bit shorter. But there it is, my friends, one year of growth and learning and fun and all the meaning. I went back through it and all the different pages and where I was and emotion and feelings throughout the year. and. Um, it's just such a magical thing to see um, your hand throughout the year and how you've grown and learn and what you've learned. All the, the, the wonderful things that we get and such a sacred, sacred place our journals. So be, take the risk, use your wings, fly, try new things. If we can't do that in our journal pages, where can we, right? Um, this is just for you. All right, my loves, I'm so glad that you joined me for this year and for today. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off, just a couple of weeks for, from Crash the Stash, and then I'll be back at it again. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.